Usually this is the part of the show where I talk about the most persistent and upsetting threats to the cybersecurity landscape. But in the case of this talk, obviously the the, the topic isn't going to be the sneakiest piece of ra ransomware or the most evasive worm or vitor, virus, but the subtleties of social engineering, as you said. So based on your research, what are some of the most common types of deception or social engineering tricks that you see as particularly pernicious or su susceptible? Oh, there's a ton. There, yeah. there's, there's an, a, there's an absolute ton. Mm -hmm. um, but to, to make this clear, it's kind of how the the attacker impacts people. Um, right. Psychologically, the goal for the attacker is to get your attention and to influence your behavior. And so, how do they how do they do that? Is utilizing a few principles of influence. Uh, everyone has these principles of influence, and one of the strongest ones that that is out there is a the principle of liking. So if you see someone that you like, they will influence your behavior. So if you mm -hmm. see your, your favorite pop star, your favorite yeah. movie star, you'll probably run up to him or her, jump up and down, like, oh, my God, shake their hand, hug them, yep. whatever, whatever you do. However, you see me walk down the street. You're not doing that. Like you're you're not you're not going to do this. <laughs> I thing, am, right? but <laughs> <laughs> now I know you're a star. But no, you go, <laughs> but that's a hypothetical. So please go on. <laughs> so as as the as they utilize this principle of influence yeah. to impact your behavior. Like in a digital setting, how would this happen? Mm -hmm. This would happen by spoofing. So mm -hmm. by spoofing, mm -hmm. you see a name of your CEO it'll influence your behavior. It could be yeah. the principle of liking, like, hey, I like the CEO, or it could be the principle of authority. Like, yes. uh, I'm scared of yeah. the CEO. Yeah, and my, so my CEO cool. never contacts me. This must be really important. Exactly. Mm -hmm. and during uh, 2020, mid-pandemic, mm -hmm. uh, we saw this at a higher scale where people were fearful of the principle of authority because so many people were being laid off. So yes. Yes. the CEO sure. spoof held a significant amount of weight that mm -hmm. the CEO spoof mm -hmm. uh, began to really take off. And how these people are beginning to do this, and this goes further than, hey, uh, read the email header or something like that. Yeah. No, when you see that name, bio, uh, biologically, you see the name, you read the name, you understand the name, and then you begin to read. And as you begin to read, the default voice you read in is your own voice. And so as you read in your own voice, you're reading in a common voice, a liked voice, which is, which is your own, unless you intimately or very closely know that name. Then you begin to read in their voice and you begin mm, to read in mm -hmm. their cadence. So if you don't believe me, if like, how in the hell would this even happen? Have you ever read a book and then think, then watch the movie? And you hate the movie because the person didn't look or sound like they did in the book. Because as you read the book, you created this character in your head. And so as you read, as you see the movie, you're like, she doesn't sound like that. Yep. That is not how that happened at all. Every time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then counterpoint, I don't watch the movie before I read the book because then I can't hear the voice in my head as anything other than the actor. <laughs> definitely. Mm -hmm. Definitely. That's that's how it happens to every one of us mm -hmm. and the same biological principles hold weight as we read emails. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. as attackers begin to break people down, it's all a psychological compromise. So we've heard of the, the scam that's out there that, Hey, I need you to go to the store buy 10 iTunes gift cards. Yeah. Scratch off the back, send them, like take a picture of them, send them to me. You realize how many steps that is. Yeah. Uh, and I'm not calling those people stupid or illogical. It's no. just one of those principles of influence impacted so hard that you could not see anything else. Yeah. You just started to act and you just kept acting and you kept doing it and you mm -hmm. send and mm -hmm. you send that information over, and there's nothing in. There's a lot wrong with it, but it can get everybody, which is why with open source intelligence, as we give so much of ourselves out there mm -hmm. to the Internet, it makes this a little bit easier. Yeah. So they can right click and save as a picture of of a loved one and mm -hmm. pretend to be that person. Yep. They can follow you if they really, really, really wanted to. Not many people do this, but they can follow you on LinkedIn, or they can follow you on Facebook or Twitter and yep. understand how you write. If they're going after a CEO, if you're a CEO, listen to this. It, 
and uh, your company's growing, it could happen to you. Mm -hmm. They can just follow and see how you write, begin to write like you write, and send that information over to one of your to one of your coworkers or one of the people that work with you, and they're going to believe that it's you. And with the new browser to browser attack, speaking of new technical attacks, the new browser to browser attack allows attackers to spoof a domain to a point where it's like yeah. damn near undetectable. Absolutely. Yeah, that's frightening. I'm excited to announce that our InfoSec skills platform will be releasing a new challenge every month with three hands-on labs to put your cyber skills to the test. Each month, you'll build new skills ranging from secure coding to penetration testing to advanced persistent threats and everything in between. Plus, we're giving away more than $1,000 worth of prizes each month. Go to infosecinstitute.com challenge and start your challenge right now.